Hello, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live and bringing in remote guests is a critical feature these days. And today, that's what I'm gonna talk about, bringing in remote guests to your YOLO Box Pro. The YOLO Box Pro is unique in the market because it's the only eight inch tablet that is both a hardware switcher and can bring in remote guests from the internet without anything else in your hand. If you like these tutorials, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We really appreciate it. If, if you find them useful, please do us a favor with that. I'm gonna bring in a couple remote guests into my Yolo Box Pro, and this is the screen you're gonna to need to do this. Down there, you see those two heads? That is for multiple people. And right here, these are the settings that are gonna be so important to you. Allow participants to join, that's a big yes. Mute guests audio by default. Now that's one I prefer. As soon as they connect, I don't want their audio coming in before I brought them into the show because they could be talking to someone else on their, at their location. I want them muted by default. That means turn their audio off. It's, it'll still appear in the mixer, but it is by default when they first come in, it is off. And lastly, up here, this is where you invite your guests. So you're gonna come up here. This is the screen where you can invite for guests directly, or you could also send a link to yourself. You would click the send the link to me if you just wanna send it to yourself, or if you wanna send it directly from the Yolo Box Pro to four other people, you would just type their names in here, uh, like Anthony at OLOLIV.com, and that's where you would send it. This is the email that your guests receive. And you can see right here, this cloud.yololive, here's the room, and this is the long number of the room for this particular invitation. And each time you issue a new invitation, a new room is created. So you don't have to worry about people getting an old link and coming into your new room. You don't have to worry about that. If you wanna reformat it, you're free to do that as well. I personally like to use a URL shortener so that that way it's shorter or I could uh, create a link that says like bit.ly and something something conference or uh, this big game or this meeting or whatever you wanna call it. That way they, they know when they click that link that this is what it's for. Just It's another level of confidence, but that is not required. You don't need the computer end of that. You don't need the URL shortener. Again, you can send it directly from the YOLO box itself directly to the recipient. They get the email, they click on the link, and they come right into your YOLO box. Let's take a look at that. So if we're gonna do this on the laptop, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this link and the laptop is gonna open up a new web page where it's gonna check your camera and mic. Down here, you've got your settings. So you can pick which camera you want, the resolution you want. You can select your audio right here. Again, this is on a laptop. These features are available to the person on the laptop. So if they have different microphones, they wanted to go through their Bluetooth headphones, this is where they can select where the audio, they listen to it. This is where they select the microphone. You confirm this. And then you join the event. Wait for it and within moments, it connects. And if I bring this guest up, let me do a side-by-side. -side. Let me add a video side-by-side. -side. Next one, next two, next. That's fine, done. And bring them up like that. And now you can see side-by-side, -side, I have both my main camera, which you're listening to right now, and my laptop over here. This is my laptop down here. And you can see this is working pretty good. Make sure you're using Chrome. We'll get more into that in a moment. Now, if I bring up my guest audio, I'm gonna turn off the internal microphone that I'm using with this camera, and I'm gonna to switch to the laptop. Now, this is the laptop and the audio that you're hearing now is the audio that's coming from the laptop. So if I move, put, yeah, I scratch 
the microphones on the screen. <laughs> the proof that this is actually the microphones built into the little laptop I got right here. Go back to the microphone I have plugged into my main camera. And you can see this is how this all comes together. Now, there's also the opportunity to bring in a mobile device. Let's do that now. We're going to go to, let's just say the user gets the email on their device. They click on the link and it's going to take them to a web page, just like it would if you were doing it on a computer. You know, it's laid out vertically, as you can see. I can change my settings for the camera, mute, stop cam. I've got my audio settings on here as well. So I'm going to say join event and you see it pop up directly at the bottom of the screen. So now you can see if I connect, when I connect, if the phone is horizontal, it's going to make it available in a horizontal format. So I can make a new side by side with my main camera and my cell phone done and I can bring this up. So now you can see I could be talking on my cell phone and on, you have the right, you know, your main camera and you have your guest camera and they are both side by side and very close in latency. So this is working out very well. Let me put this here in a holder. All right. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch between the audio that's going into my main camera. And this is the audio going into the microphone in the camera. So this is your remote guest's audio. I'm talking to you. you I'm, I'm your remote guest. And this is how I would sound in your show in the Yola Box Pro. And then back to me in my main camera. The Yola Box will actually switch audio for you. So this is a great use case where you use the audio follow video. So now I'm on camera one and the camera one audio is working. And if I switch to the laptop, here I am in the laptop. Thank you very much. It's great to see you. I'm talking to you from the laptop. Back to me here in the studio. Hey, wait, let's go to our guest down on the field. Hey, I'm talking to you from the cell phone now, and this is how the cell phone sounds. And then back to me. And if you put two people up in a side-by-side, -side, you will, you will see, see that, that it's actually, actually lighting, lighting up, up both, both of those, those on, the right, on the right there. If, if I, I select, select the other side-by-side, side side, you can, you can see, see the, the two different audio, audio setups, setups on the right there, there got set up. And that's how you can put together this multi-camera remote guest, remote guest, and your own camera, whatever cameras you have going into the Yolo box itself, all together works out to be a great tool to integrate local and now remote guests and remote cameras. Another really useful feature of this remote guest capability is taking that device, whether it be a cell phone or a tablet or whatever it is, and it could be not that far away. It could be the, on the other side of a playing field. It could be in another city. But this gives you the ability to use it as a regular camera, not just a selfie device, but a camera. You can put a light on it. You can put a directional mic on it. You can put a harness around it and, and, and really use it like a camera. I have two of them set up here. I have first, I have my iPhone, which you can now see right down here. This is my iPhone and you can see that, you know, this is the uh, Yolo Box original. Over here, I've got the Yolo Box Pro. And then over here, I've got my laptop. So I can use this to like film things. Look, look, I'm flying around. I'm, I'm doing whatever it is I'm doing on the sidelines. I could be following kids during a soccer game. But you notice that this is square. I mean, it's really square. And I don't know why Apple does this, but that it, it, that's the way it is right now. And 
I have two different iPhone devices that I've tested, the 13 Pro and the 13, 13 they both do it. Selfie camera fills the screen. The back camera comes in square, but it's, it's not a Yola box device issue because over here, which you'll see pop up in a second, this is a Samsung J3. So this is a couple years old, but you can see that this is properly providing 16 by nine video of the setup here. So this is the iPhone device that I have. And if I hold them both up side by side, there you go. You can see one has 16 by nine video and the other one does not. So that way, you can see that, hey, you know, try a different device and a different device may provide what you're looking for. If you have some old cell phones laying around, um, old iPods that happen to have a video camera in them, that might work too. And that way you can use these as remote cameras. And again, because you're either using a cellular network or a Wi-Fi network or whatever, you're not limited to the cable length. It's wireless. So as long as these devices can connect to the internet, the same internet you're streaming to with your YOLO box, these devices can be anywhere. They could be 10 feet away. They could be 100 yards away. They could be in another city. They could be on the other side of the world. And this camera can be covering events for you as if it was a real handheld camera. That is a fantastic feature built into your Yola Box Pro with the remote guest feature. This has been a look at the impressive feature of remote guests in your Yola Box Pro. Again, if you find these videos helpful, do us a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot more content coming out. My name is Anthony Barocas for Yola Live. Thanks for watching.